Hey everyone, Tanya Cherry with you, and I wanted to welcome you into my home today to see and to prove that the Christmas goodies recipes that come in, I'm actually making them. I've heard rumors that people think, she doesn't bake those, it's not real. No, it really is real. I bake them at night after work, I bake them on Sunday afternoons, like today, and I wanted to uh, bake today party tort. This recipe was actually sent in by Danny Isman's mom, and Danny doesn't know that she sent it in. It was really cool. So there's a whole history to this uh, party tort recipe that uh, Danny's grandma used to always make at special occasions, and Diane said she's never seen it at any other gatherings, so it's a really special recipe to the Isman family. And I'm so glad that she sent it to me and is letting me try it out. So I'm going to bake it this afternoon and uh, we'll see how it turns out. So when I start to make a recipe, I actually lay out all of my ingredients so I make sure that I have everything and it just makes it easier for me. So in this recipe, you need two 7 by 11 pans or two 9 by 6 pans and the size that I had were the glass pans, so hopefully that's okay to make a meringue. Hopefully I'm doing it right. You need 12 egg whites and Diane said you can't get any of the yolk in there, so she recommended getting the uh, pre pre-done separated egg whites. So they're there. Now I have my vinegar, my vanilla, sugar, my whipping cream. Uh, it calls for chunked pineapples and maraschino cherries. Then you need the parchment paper to cover the pans. Plus I've got my beater, which I actually broke two different beaters already in my baking history. This one's my mom's. I hope I don't break it. That wouldn't be too good. So in this bowl here, we have our egg whites, we've got our vinegar, and our vanilla, and you had to beat it until soft peaks form, and I think I've got that pretty good. Now I have to add my sugar, three cups, a tablespoon at a time to this meat mixture, and then you beat that all up until you have stiff, glossy peaks forming. So here we have our two parchment lined pans with the meringue divided evenly between the pans, I think I did it right. I hope I did it right. But this now goes into the oven set at 300 Fahrenheit and it has to bake for an hour and 20 minutes. So here we have our meringue. It was in the oven for an hour and 20 minutes. Now this has to cool for two hours. And um, Diane says that it rises and it cracks just like it did here and browns up and then it will fall and that's okay. That's what it's supposed to end up like. It's been two hours since the meringue has cooled, and uh, basically you flip it out of the pan and you put it onto a tray. I have a nice serving dish. Um, now I have to layer it, layer all of this with the topping, which is a can of crushed pineapple, a cup of chopped maraschino cherries, and three cups of whipping cream, and you fold that all in, and now I'm going to take this and, of course, put it on top of the meringue about half an inch because you want to save the rest of it for the top layer. Okay, I think we're done. Now, before I show you the finished product, I have to give a little disclaimer that when making any of these recipes, I don't know how they're supposed to look. I, all of them have tasted awesome, but I'm not too sure if they turned out looking the way that uh, the original bakers actually made them look. So hopefully I did this right. Take a look. And here is the finished product, Party Tort. So I have the two meringue layers and then the whip topping all over it. Uh, Diane said you're supposed to mound the rest of that whip topping on top of the meringue layers. As you can tell, I got rid of the fancy serving tray because it just wasn't practical for this dessert. But I think it looks amazing. I'm really excited to try it and hopefully it turned out. All right, let's see how this tastes. That's awesome. Oh my goodness, party tort sent in by Danny's mom, Diane. Thank you so much, Diane. This is fabulous.